Hello, everybody. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Miguel Parga. I am an author and a filmmaker, and I've been a professor at the New York Film Academy for the last 13 years. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about the effects of watching television, especially the news. Huh. Uh, I've been thinking about doing a post like this for a while. I guess now is when I'm getting around to it. Anyway, so the other day, coming back from a trip and I get a phone call from my mom and she's in a panic because of something she heard in the news. And I said to her, why are you, why are you getting in such a panic? What, what's, what's going on? And she tried to explain to me. She couldn't even explain why she was so afraid. But it's just something that she heard. And it just made me think about the effects of listening to that babbling box all the time. Um, my girlfriend used to have CNN on 24-7. My God, it was on all the time. And I said to her, you know, why are you, why are you listening to this stuff? And she, she would say, well, I'm not listening to it. I just have it in the background. I said, that's even worse, right? It's, it's getting into your brain. You're not even paying attention to it. And one day I sit down and I watch some of it. And, and I'm watching, I don't want to say what show, but I'm watching one of these shows and they're like, arguing with each other and they're screaming at each other. And I'm like, is this the news? I used to work in news. I worked in news for 10 years. I was shocked to see what these people were doing on TV. It, it, it was like watching Jerry Springer in a way. And I'm like, wow, this is incredible. Um, so what I wanted to do today is share with you a little technique that I share with my students. Uh, and this is concerning movies, really, but I think that you can apply it to, or to real life. So when you're, when you're writing a movie and you're writing a scene, uh, you want to make sure you know what the characters want, right? Everybody has a purpose for what they do. So when you're writing a scene, you ask three questions. Who wants what? Why now? And what happens if they don't get it? Who wants what? Why now? And what happens if they don't get it? This is profound, okay? In a movie, of course, you're creating drama. You want to know what your character wants. It makes sense. But what I want to suggest to you is that you ask the same things in real life. Next time you're listening to the news, next time you're listening to television, and they're telling you something, they're selling you a narrative, I want you to ask those questions. Who wants what? Why are they telling you what they're telling you? Because trust me, they want something. Okay? Why do they want it now? And what happens if they don't get it? What are the consequences of you not listening? And along the same lines, think about what TV wants from you. I know it's an inanimate object. I know... It's difficult to think about it as something that it wants something, but it is. It wants something. It wants you listening. It wants you to stay stupid. It wants you not to question what's being said. Okay? Um, I don't know. Just food for thought. Anyway, I, I want to suggest to you that maybe, perhaps... You take a little break from listening to the news, from listening to the TV. Take, take three days off. Unplug, okay? Uh, unplug from social media, too. Give yourself time to uh, let your brain go back to its rhythms, to, to a calmer state, okay? And you'll be able to think a little better, I think. Yeah. Uh, years ago, I remember listening to this interview uh, by, uh, it's an, an interview that Philip Roth, the writer Philip Roth gave on Fresh Air, one of my favorite writers. Anyway, he said, I, I don't believe in ideologies anymore because when you believe in an ideology, you stop thinking, and the ideology thinks for you. That's, uh, that's a very smart thing to say. You got to think. 
you can't give away the one evolutionary advantage that you have. Think, think, think. Anyway, just wanted to share those thoughts with you. And remember those questions. Who wants what? Why now? And what happens if they don't get it? Okay? Unfortunately, we live in a world in which we can't trust anybody. That goes on You can't trust me, what I'm telling you now. You got to do your own research, do your own thinking. Okay? If you like the content, hit like, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing more content like this, talking about movies, talking about books, talking about ideas. Yes, and if you're interested in my work, um, upcoming books that are coming out hopefully soon, uh, go to my website, miguelparga.com. And if this interests you, if it's sparked some ideas or anything, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Um, yeah, the topic of television and how it affects you. Remember, your TV wants you stupid. It wants you listening. It's up to you. Okay? Peace out.